Joe Ryan's numbers on the season. He's been very good against Kansas City, 3-0. I think his 24th start of the year. Fastball has been a plus pitch for him, very effective. It's the off-speed stuff that is really the difference maker for him. Fly ball pitcher, if he's able to keep the ball within the ballpark, he's always got a chance to win. But he's a guy who's going to have to go out there and establish that fastball, establish it early, and pitch as well as he has against these Royals all year. Wow. I don't believe I've ever seen Salvador Perez swing at a pitch that far out of the strike zone. Strikeout to start the second inning for Joe Ryan. Fastball from Joe Ryan, the top of the zone. See Nick Prado just swung under that ball. Another strikeout, deep count, but a strikeout, and for Ryan, his third of the ball game. With the size of the bases increasing, going from 15 to 18 inches, the 1 0 pitch, a fly ball to center. Celestino breaking in, breaking in, slides, and Celestino makes a good play in center. Frozen there off the crack of the bat, but he made the adjustment, came in sprinting, sliding, caught that on the grass and center field for out number one. Good play by Celestino, no score. That's the easy part of it. Tap to the right side, good. Third out. Give me time now during the inning break to move my chair between you two guys. <laughs> and right back, changeup, got him. Boy, nice little off-speed pitch as Prado. Shakes his head, walks back to the base, to the dugout. High fly center field, retreating to Celestino, one way then the other, and he leaps and makes the catch on the warning track, almost exactly where he caught Perez's drive in the fourth inning. It seems like the ball's flown even less as the year's going along, whether it's been the, the humidor, or the ballparks reducing flight, the balls are more consistent. With you see a lot of surprised looks on hitters' faces when they've hit balls that they expect to go over the fence. Good inning for Ryan. Another one, two, three inning. And he's got five no hit innings and a two nothing lead. And one of the few guys who throws 60% fastballs. Six strikeout on three pitches. But that tells you how good the fastball is. I mean, that ball was center cut. If you asked a hitter, hey, where do you want it? He would have held his barrel out exactly where that ball was. And they've seen him multiple times. Got him looking with a breaking ball. Handful of curves in that at bat. Another one, two, three inning. Six no hit innings for Joe Ryan. It's another strikeout. Six in the third innings of no hit ball. But here's the thing that you see it's, it's building. The people in the ballpark are aware of what's going on. Each strikeout, each out, cheers are getting a little bit louder. Here comes pitch number 101. And the one two pitch a fly ball right center field deep into the ballpark for cave to his right well shy of the track he'll squeeze it and that's out number two. Ryan's 106th pitch. Seven no hit innings for Joe Ryan. He's been masterful tonight. Joe Ryan doesn't appear to be happy with the decision to be taken out after seven innings. The fans here at target field. No reflection on Giovanni Moran, but he was booed as he came in from the bullpen to pitch to the Royals in the eighth inning. Well, it's a tough thing to be a manager when you you got to wear it for your players. You're doing what you believe is best for that young man, best for the long term Correct. of the organization, best for this season. As you said, he's going into Cleveland. He's going to make his next start against a team that you're trying to chase down. You got a big lead. I understand his frustration though too. It didn't look like Joe Ryan was taking it. <laughs> He's taking it kind of as, it, as you would expect. Uh, you know, you want to go out there, you want to do something monumental. You want to go out there and throw a no hitter. You want to go out there and do something special that you remember for the rest of your your career or the rest of your life.